Hi Aquarians. Thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. Welcome in or welcome back and Happy New Year. I am squeezing your reading in before I finish the earth signs because I woke up with you on my mind. I feel a strong energy and every card I've been shuffling, the star has been popping out and I thought, okay, I'll do Aquarius. Patience just popped out. I'm going to tell you, this is um, going to be for the month of January 2023. I am asking for the strongest energies for the beautiful sign of Aquarius. And we're going to look at what is coming in for you for the month of January. And I can tell you right now what I feel, because I do start to feel when I start shuffling and cleansing, is you guys are breaking out of the chains that have binded you. You're starting to see everything in a new light because we are at Mercury retrograde in Capricorn. So I'm going to get some cards right now, Aquarians. For Aquarius, please. This is good for all placements, sun, rising, moon, and Venus. Wishing you all a beautiful new year. Spirit guides, strongest energies around the sign of Aquarius right now. This reading is for. Thank you. Show me what else I need to see for the sign of Aquarius. Wow, I'm going to take it. What else do you want to show me for the sign of Aquarius? There's patience. Anything else you'd like to tell Aquarians about their current energy, spirit? You know the card that first flew out and I was just like, hmm, beyond illusion. <laughs> you guys are like seeing everything right now. <sighs> Compromise and ripeness and aloneness. I think right now, if this is your reading Aquarians, you're having a, literally a breakthrough from the things and people that have been leaving you in the outside. Meaning like no matter how hard you tried, you always felt the gates were closed. Boy, you're really looking at things right now that, oh, you're beyond the illusion. And I have it with aloneness, meaning that this is a place of finding your answers. The light is right around you right now, Aquarians. And I feel with comparison and ripeness, I think you're starting to look at things that you truly, truly want that you feel will be a part of your wish fulfillment in the incoming energies because you're wiping the board clean. You are uh, breaking free from the things that bind you. I, I feel it. I feel it. Patience is the first card to my left and I have going with the flow right now. You're just literally going with something. I feel like you have an immense amount of patience. You're like almost to the point where you're gliding. You're gliding. And I do feel... Oh, you are breaking from something. Yeah, you are. I have rebirth around you right now, Aquarians. This is like you're rebirthing a new you. And I have it with a whole hell of a lot of intensity. Breaking, you're breaking out of the chains that bind you. It's all right in front of me. If this sounds like your current energies, you're really reflecting. And if I had to guess, I'm going to say you've been reflecting for a few weeks now. But now you're coming into this immense amount of intensity with a rebirth. And breakthrough from the illusion all right let's look at your recent past a little bit and then I'm gonna look at what's coming in for you for the month of January and then love crossing towards the end because you know I love my aquas I had to roll an aqua I had to do your reading today I had to I had no choice the cards were just all oh god I had the king of wands with the devil recently and the six of swords that's like oh you tried to get to calmer waters Oof. king of wands is big Leo energy Beautiful king. That's the king of determination. Whether you're dealing with a Leo or not, the Six of Swords is telling me that you you recently in the past started realizing that there's something you had to get a lot of determination with to get to calmer waters. Meaning, the, the place and the people that have just felt toxic to you. I saw the devil. You had to get it. You, you, were, you realized recently in the past you had to get out. But I want to look a little bit. It'll The past is... Why these are here, these are here because I can't wait to see your incoming because they're going to be beautiful. You're going to be wiping your board clean. All right, Spirit Guides, recent cast a little bit for my beautiful. Recent past for beautiful Aquarians, please. Thank you. Anything else? A little bit. A little bit, huh? Who did popped out? Equal give and take a little bit. I have the Eight of Cups. Uh, there was things in, recently you've been going through, Aquarians, that you really put a judgment mode on. And the Eight of Cups is the things that you wanted in life or with someone or something that was never, it just started, you, there was things about it that was emotionally, it was maybe once what you once wanted, 
or you thought it was something that you wanted. But with judgment here, you came into a big energy of the whistleblower looking at it. Is this serving me? Is this really what I want? Yeah, you did. I have it with the Ten of Pentacles. Is that really what you want? The Ten of Pentacles is about, oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Okay, yeah, I'm right on the money. The Ten of Pentacles is about everything you want, meaning the job, the stability in a relationship, your finances. And I have it with the Ten of Cups. I got two tens here, and they're beautiful tens, but with Judgment and Eight of Cups, this is emotion. And I feel like you walked, started walking away. You started judging something like you thought it was what you wanted. And that you started, I feel recently in your past, very recently, you started realizing, wait a minute, I want a whole hell of a lot more. I feel it. Because here comes big Aquarius. Mm-hmm. And I have it with the moon. Pisces. Cancerian energy. But it doesn't really matter. It's just telling me. Boy. You were staying in your, your integrity about something, the King of Steel. You had your sword. You, you were using your wisdom from the things that were very foggy to you that you just didn't have your full clarity on. You started judging something, though, because I have the Ace of Wands. I have Big Leo, Strength and Courage. Recently, it looked like the passionate brand new opportunity. I see some Leo in here, G here, but I, I don't want to go there. Um, that I feel what recently you started realizing that I want a brand new beginning with passion. I want a brand new opportunity with passion. You came into a lot of strength and you stood up for something, even though everything seemed foggy. I think you were just waiting. You're being very strong about something. You just weren't. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, big Queen of Water, and your last card is the Six of Pentacles about equal give and take. Coming into your current energies, you started realizing that the things in your life that you gave love to, was it reciprocated? Because I think right now, if this is your reading, you are rebirthing a new you and you have a lot of intensity around you right now and looking at everything, you know, um, that was an illusion. It's a breakthrough with illusion from the things that you kept feeling locked out of. You're breaking out. You're rebirthing a new you and they want you to be just a little patient. I have comparison. You know, perhaps right now you're comparing things from something that you went through from the past because really what you want is you want you want wish fulfillment your fruits about to be picked hold on to your dreams Aquarians I'm gonna tell you hold out for what you really want I'm gonna look at your what what is incoming uh, I have gone with the flow around you all right incoming who do I want to use we're gonna use these today I have community from the round and round royal heart and I'm walking into a new world. <laughs> Aquarius. I never knew who's under these decks. And I just felt like using these today for the incoming month of January. 2023. Aquarius. Thank you, spirit guides. Strongest. Beautiful. Energies. Thank you. Coming towards the sign of Aquarius in January. 2023, spirit. What else do you want me to tell Aquarians? Thank you. For the incoming energies for January 2023. You know, they give me a lot of cards when I do your readings because I'm an Aquarius. I do have the, uh, the never ending story under the deck, Aquarians. <laughs> I have it with higher power. And what I feel from this is they want you to let go of something. They want you to let go of something. And I mean something that you feel has been like, I can't go through this much more. You got to trust in something here with higher power. You need to believe. Uh, and I feel like it's believe in yourself that you deserve better and trust in the universe. I really do feel, okay. I wasn't going to take it, but I'm going to it now. Time for a nap. Telling me that in the incoming energies for January, let something go right now. Put yourself to rest on it. Because they want to tell you. You're going into a new realm and it's after loyal hearts and it's something that is going to come together for you. Community. I'm telling you right now. Because the first card to my left is I have a change in the wind, Aquarians. A good change. It's a beautiful change. A change in the wind. And Spirit wants to tell you it's about everything being fair. 
justice is stepping in. I saw a higher power. Justice is stepping in to push you into a place that you truly want to be. You What you truly want. Because right now around you, I see all this fruit you want to pick. And honestly, it's a change in the wind and it's about justice. Everything being fair. Ooh, Aquarians. It's beautiful. I have, they want you to be flexible. They want you to stay poised. Meaning, go with it and know something about your self-worth and what you deserve. Because when a change in the wind comes in with to be fair, you can expect a lot of karmic justice to play out for you in a beautiful way. I think it's, I saw what's been going on. I have mending round and round. They want you to really think about it, Aquarians. The thinker, that's who you are. The round and round, the vicious circle. I feel like they want me to tell you to manifest and think about the things in your life that will bring you together with things to help you mend, attract abundance, attract happiness, never settling for less than what you want. Just saying, because I see what you've been through. Last card they gave me. Once you get to that point, you've got some happy, happy coming in, Aquarians. A sense of freedom. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Oof, I got to get some cards. I'm looking at them right now. I want to use this deck and I don't know why, but I'm going to find out. I just want to get some cards to clarify. And I, they always do. I have the Six of Cups with the Five of Pentacles and you with the Zero Major Arcana, the Fool. That's you. You know what? I have it with the Thinker. I mean, come on now. The Fool with the Thinker and the world. You're about to start a whole lot of new chapters. It's like it's the end of whatever you've been through because you're about to change with karmic justice moving in. And it's about thinking of something in a new way and taking risks with things, starting over, feeling like it's time for me to go off in a new direction and being at peace with it. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. Yeah. All right. Why did I go that deep? I haven't even asked yet, have I? Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups, I'm going to put them all back in. Is The Six of Cups are about the things and people that we still have memories of. And with the Five of Pentacles, I feel Spirit wants me to tell you to think about how many times you've been isolated or have been left isolated because you're getting ready to start a whole new journey. I have the world in the fool. <gasps> Two of Pentacles. All right, I got to put the world back in. I just saw a card missing. Mm -hmm. All right, two pentacles card oh, that just flew out. Incoming energies. That is a card of pentacles is stability and money and things that you want in your life. And it's time for you to stop juggling it and, and go after what you want. I just feel it. Let's just see though. Incoming cards for the sign of Aquarius, please. What do you want to tell the sign of <laughs> Aquarius? About the incoming energies. Thank you, Spirit, for Aquarius January. Anything else? I guess so. It's right on my lap. All right. I have the magician. You guys, uh, it flew out last. Oh, look who's under the deck. The world. <laughs> you know, they're telling me that things are about to shift in your life. And it's going to be harvest time. And what I mean by that is that you're about to start a lot of new chapters. And with the manifestor here, you have all the tools around you, Aquarians, a lot of power in the incoming energies for January to create all your new chapters that you want. You got to put it out there and believe. Start looking though. They give you a lot of cards. King of Cups is in reverse. Three of Swords. I have big Leo strength with your Ten of Cups. Your Ten of Cups in Leo. Well, strength is a beautiful card about strength and grace. But this is also about the people and things that haven't committed to you in the right way and have hurt your heart. They want to tell you it's time for you to move forward. I, uh, you, I have the Three of Pentacles and I have it with the Hierophant. And then they gave me the Chariot. It's time for you to move forward. The Chariot is about no emotion. 
a lot of will, a lot of determination, listening to your intuition about going after something that you truly want for success and victory and for your Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is working with others to get to a better position. You know, whether it be relationship, job, the Hierophant is telling me to tell you to please traditional energy, have the faith, have the commitment, and know it's going to happen. There's the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, all right. Okay, then. That's Aquarius energy, too. I have the Knight of Pentacles, you guys, and this is all I'm going to take, and then I'm going to do some messages and roll into love crossing, but the Knight of Earth, very solid night, Aquarians. I got a funny feeling you got a very solid night coming towards you. And that's a very methodical energy, or you're going after something very slow and methodically. And I feel that that's what you're doing too. I think you got two things coming in for you because I just have it with the magician and the world, three of pentacles, hmm. Hierophant, six of swords, light at the end of the tunnel. That's a place of traveling, getting the calmer waters. <laughs> oh man. Chariots here and the Two of Pentacles was here. I don't remember if it, I put it back in, but it showed up again. So I'm going to take it because that is a card telling me that you got to stop juggling with something to do with your stability and what you really want and get in your cart with no emotion, Aquarius, and go after something. Don't let anything stop you to get what you want because I have a few more cards they want me to give you. I have the Knight of Swords that flew out of my fingers. That is you. That's the night of fast forward thinking, the night of communication. And they want to tell you something to go after your wish. Nine of Cups. Stop protecting your own fire energy from something that's wounded you from before because I have a passionate brand new Ace of Wands coming in for you. You're going to feel connected to it with passion. It's brand new. It's an opportunity that you're going to be connected to with love. I think it's what you really want. And you're going to be thinking and seeing everything in a new way because justice is about to be served to you in a beautiful way oh aquarians that was magnificent you guys and i feel this triple aqua you know i feel these energies i can i probably should just open an aqua channel <laughs> Listen, I know these energies, and if, if your current energy sounds like something you're going through, then this is your reading. This is what you got coming in. New chapters. Stay true to yourself, Aquarians, and manifest the life you want. Spirit is saying. Two messages for you today, Aquarian Spirit. I hear one shuffle, and um, then I'll roll into Love Crossing. Two messages, maybe three. Maybe one. I don't know. Aquarius, thank you. Thank you, spirit guides. If you can tell Aquarians anything about this reading today, spirit, what do you want to tell the sign of Aquarius? Oh, look at all that Ariel. What else do you want to... Oh, okay, I'm done. That was beautiful, actually. The first card they gave you, Aquarius, this is what they want to say to you. You have the Nine of Gabriel. Remember, we have the Nine of Cups, and it was with the Nine of Wands. So I they want to say something to you. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibilities, environmental activism. You know, I feel that it's just time for you to go after, hold on to a wish, and stop protecting your own fire energy, because you got justice rolling in. You got, you got big stuff rolling in. They gave you an ace. They gave you the Ace of Ariel. Angel Ariel, it's your lucky day, Aquarius. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. It's just a change, Aquarians, because you have the world. Last card they gave you is the King of Ariel. Wow, you guys got the Ace and the King of Angel Ariel. Beautiful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using your resources wisely you know i just feel like this is about you being prepared for something coming in for you to balance your life out using everything wisely from what you've learned from the past because 
It's your lucky day. I got justice coming in. I got justice. You know, move forward. Fast forward thinking with the chariot. You have an ace of wands. Ace of swords. Seeing something, thinking of something in any way, the thinker. All right, Aquarians. Happy New Year. Many blessings to you. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. I'm going to roll into Love Crossing. If you are not dealing with anyone, Happy New Year. Remember to hit the like button. Thank you, thank you. All right, Love Crossing. I'm going to use this deck today. And this is going to be the strongest Love Crossing energies you're dealing with, Aquarians. Oh, I got Aquarius under the deck. I got it with the Empress and somebody who, um, did I make a bad choice? Still thinking about something. And I think someone's realizing that they haven't been treating you very well. I don't know why I'm saying that. Let's just see. But with what I've seen you've been going through in your recent past to your current energies, if it isn't balanced, Aquarians doesn't want it. I'm just saying, cross watchers. I don't know. I'm talking about high vibrational Aquarians. So if you're dealing with a low one, don't yell at me. <laughs> crossing energies, please, for this, for the messages for Aquarius about the crossing love energies. What do you want to show me? Anything else for the crossing energies? For my beautiful sign of Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. Love crossing energies, please. Any? Oh my goodness, they gave me a novel. I have the Empress under the deck. Who's on my lap? A little page. I got a page of wands. Got that page of fire. Uh, I love the page of fire. Eager page. You know, the page, you I want you to think of, let's say, a 10-year-old or an 11-year-old um, jumping and leaping in all different directions because they're so excited. I have the Empress under the deck. Oh. Uh, Five of Cups and Four of Cups in their energy. And uh, they're looking at something from a distance. The Three of Wands. Uh, somebody at a distance. It could be mental distance, physical distance. But I feel it's about somebody who I think is starting to realize something. That their, their own emotional disappointments has left them in a bubble of sadness. And maybe they're coming out of it now. Maybe they're starting to see, wait a minute, there's a little bit of hope here. Maybe. I don't know. But I have the Empress. So this is someone I feel who is starting to realize you are the Empress. I feel it. I don't care. It's what I'm feeling. You guys are like, oh, oh, there she goes. Yeah, I'm going on my rant is right. <laughs> Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. With the Queen of Swords. Oh, uh, I think this is somebody who knows it's better to take a major time out than to deal with you right now because they're viewing you as the queen of swords. It's a beautiful queen. I cannot give this queen any bad names, you know, or somebody came into a queen of sword energy with you, but the queen of swords is when somebody has become very detached, listening, evaluation of what people are saying to this queen. You know, and if the queen feels someone has not been honest, this queen will use her sword to cut the ties. I feel that, I think somebody realizes you're doing that. I, or they're just taking a time out. I don't know. I have the Knight of Wands though. A lot of thought. Oh my God, I was going to say a lot of thought energy. A lot. You know what? Maybe it was. Why do these words come out of me? A lot of hot energy. A lot of hot passion. A very charismatic night. Of going after what it wants with no, with no fear. I have the Hermit in reverse. Oh man, <laughs> the Virgo energy. But this person never took the time out to use their wisdom of something they've learned from the past. They just got in on their pony and rode after what they wanted. Okay, I'm going on. Six of Wands is showing up in their energies. I have it with Big Justice coming in. And someone who's starting to go back and forth about things. Two of Pentacles. Interesting. You had that too. But with the uh, Justice card, Big Libra again, and Six of Wands, this is somebody who was all about victory. But what I feel happened, Justice stepped in. Meaning that whenever I see Justice to me, you guys, it's like whether it was legal matters, but it really is... In the hands of the universe because nobody escapes karmic justice 
if somebody has been um, going back and forth with you, never really took the time out to find their answers from something they've learned from before, because that's what the Hermit is. It's a very spiritual card. It's in reverse. It's right next to the Nine of Wands. They, they may have been withdrawn, but they didn't do the soul searching they needed to do. Because I feel someone still, still thinks about my aquas. Something at a distance. Or maybe they think about having abundance at a distance. You know, maybe they're looking at something that one day I will harvest. Mm -hmm. But with a page of wands here, well, if I saw a king of wands, I might say it's going to get done. But with a page, I couldn't get... I, I, it's, nope, I'm not going to say nothing. Huh. Ace of pentacles, eight of pentacles, ten of cups with the tower all right they're like you know what i re i feel that whoever you've been dealing with is having a lot of epiphanies the chariot tonight about how they've been deceptive with things in their life they're seeing a whole new truth about the love they gave i don't i think people are real whoever you've been dealing with i'm just going to stop this here i'm going to close the circle is coming into a lot of epiphanies about something they never really found their answers with. They never did the soul searching. But when justice steps in, it's time for you to start soul searching. And I feel that Chariot, it's someone who's going after something. They aren't being 100% honest, but with the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups here, they sure are now in order to get any type of passionate brand new opportunity in their life. Five of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Magician. So I'm. The Wheel of Fortune. All right, I got to stop, you guys. I can be here for two hours because I just love to look. Someone who's trying to manifest all their wishes, hoping that something in their life is going to play out in divine timing. Well, well, I guess perhaps maybe when the tower comes down around them, the only place after when the tower comes down, that's epiphanies, rude awakenings, old structures, the only way up from the ground is to start building. Because right now they're having a lot of tower moments. This is what I have today because those energies are gonna shift in two weeks. I was more important about what we have for January 2023. It's absolutely magnificent. Get ready for a lot of beautiful doors opening, walking into new light, environmental activism. All right, you guys, happy new year. Many beautiful blessings. Thank you for viewing me and have a beautiful day. Thank you.